Well, it's gonna be another nice day of harvest. The sun's out. We are rolling. We got some grain. We actually have to hold into the elevator. So I'm gonna quick check prices this morning here. Jump on the Apex Game PC. Corn over at County Line Grain, 325. It's actually up. Yeah, I think we'll take this corn to County Line Grain and then everything else will go to the farm. Oh, also, we got a new dog, Rex. Rex is the new dog. Um, fired Buck and got Rex instead. No, I'm just joking. Uh, Rex is uh, Rex is just a house dog. He's a farm dog. He just runs around and stuff. Buck is actually not going to be here today. He's actually sick. So, um, Rex is taking over. He's going to run the combine. Come on, you first. Ladies first, Rex. Well, you're not a lady. Okay, you're going to wait for me to go. Here we go. Come on. Oh, later, later, Rex. Watch the table. Come on. Get out of the house. Okay, you watch the farm. I'll be back, man. We're going to jump in the Magnum, and we're going to take this to the elevator. Turn on the radio. No oh, Jesus. Back. Turn it off. No that was uh, that was Sally, the hired worker, driving it last. That was definitely, definitely not me. Let's uh, let's turn the radio on to something something good here. International Harvester. That's a very good song. I like that song. Just came out on the radio actually. Just wait. Remember this. Just remember this moment in your minds a month from now. That song. Just remember that song. And then in probably about a month from now you'll be like, what? Oh, I get it. You'll remember back to this moment. See what we're weighing here. Okay, I could not get those wagons to unload to save my life. So, we're changing plans here. We're going to leave the wagons at the co-op, figure it out later. We have the Mac, and we have the Mac fully loaded on this cornfield here. If you guys are new, we're harvesting this cornfield. It's 320 acres. We have two combines rolling on it, and we cannot keep up. I mean, we have... It's been taking a while here. Here is the corn we have left right here and right here. This has been probably three or four days of harvesting this. Now everybody's gonna tell me I, I don't need a bigger combine, but it's taken a while to harvest this. Like, gosh dang. And we have we have two combines rolling fully, sometimes three combines, and it's still taking us a while to harvest this. But like on a day to day when it's me, Sally, and Alex out in the field, like it's it's tough to get a lot done and stuff, because I'm doing all the trucking. We have three wagons ready to go, and I'm going to have to come back and grab those wagons and unload them here. I think what we'll do is the auger we have on the farm is a slow auger, so I'll get this truck unloading, and then I'll jump back in a pickup truck, run back here, and grab all three of those wagons, run the wagons there, and then hopefully by the time the wagon, by the time this is done unloading, I can take this truck back, keep the combines going. It's, it's a lot, guys. It is a lot. This Mac with a full weight load. It's tough to get it to go over 50 right now. I'm trying to get through the gears. Well, we're about here. Anyway, so it doesn't matter. Put a blinker on. Sweet what? Rex, watch it. Okay, this one might be a little tougher. Wagons are a little easier to pull up to here. We're going to try this still. I'm going to have to back up the trailer here, dump the trailer into the auger, and then probably unhook the trailer to dump the other one. It's going to be a little tougher. Okay. We're dumping corn there. Turn on the tractor. Auger's going up there. Perfect. Everything's going good there. Nice. Oh, yeah. This actually works slick. This works better than the wagons, actually. I mean, this unloads a lot faster than the wagons, too. Okay, that is empty. Nice. Let's see if horrible driver Grant can back this thing up and keep the wagon attached. This is tough. There we go, we, we kind of did it. It's tough, it's in a little pickle, but it's unloading. Nice. Heck, this is better than the wagons, I like this. Okay, we'll put the box down and we're good to go. Oh yeah, the Mac is the way to do it. Now, I said I wasn't gonna sell any more grain to the co-op because the co-op price is so bad right now. Compared to basis and futures price improves usually in January and February, like we get double the price for the corn. So it's kind of stupid to sell now, but the wagon load we have, it's right next to the elevator. And I think I'm just gonna sell at the, uh, sell it at the elevator for now. No cop, no stop. Guys, don't do that. I'm just joking. It's a game. Don't do that in real life. Okay, wagons, they're gonna be sold right there, just right across the road. If we can get this thing going, because these wagons, I gotta check the tires. 
yeah, they sink down in the ground. Once you get a heavy load and they stay overnight, these start sinking in the ground a lot. Tires all look a little low. And there's a lot of weight here. So we're going to see if the 8110 can pull it. Put her in front wheel assist. Just give her. There we go. We're not even spinning. Ooh, it's going to be a little tight with the duels. I think Buck made her in here, so we should be good. There we go. We'll unload the first one. 7,000 for the first wagon. Nice. Okay, we are empty. We should have got roughly $21,000, $22,000 total from those three wagons. Everything is empty. We can keep rocking and rolling on combine here. We are good to go. We'll make that the unloading spot since that's the only corn we have left. Well, we have some over there, but we'll just auger it over. It's not much. Fire up the 2588, and I think Alex said he was going to jump in this, and he'll get going. I'm actually going to clear these headlands here. Just make a nice headland, so we're good to go. Looks like we had some weed pressure in the fields, too. A little bit. Okay, we're going to fire the 9220 up. And actually, somebody just stopped by. Like, seriously. Um, we knew they were coming, but we weren't sure when they were going to get here, if it was going to be today or tomorrow. But, Gearinghoff, they make corn heads. And they had one they were demoing around the neighborhood. And it came on a little dinky trailer. But, if you look by the wagons there, there's a 12-row corn head there. Um, salesman said it would run fine on the 2388. It's got a chopping corn head. So what it does is it goes and it chops up all the little stocks and shreds them up. It's better for tillage. Some no-till guys like it too because the residue kind of degrades. The earthworms can get it a little better. But then again, it does leave a nice a big mat and stuff and the soil doesn't dry up as good when there's a big mat there. But it's a Gearinghoff uh, chopping corn head 12 row. And as soon as Alex gets back here, I think we might switch him out, but he's at the end and he's close to being full. Check that thing out. It literally has basically lawnmower blades, blades underneath that chop it, chop all the residue up. It's pretty neat. And then it's got roller cones on the side, so if you if you're in down corn, sometimes the corn wants to just go over the edge of the uh, of the of the header, and then sometimes it just drags off to the side. You don't get that corn through, so this kind of keeps it rolls and it keeps all the corn going in the head instead of going over the edge. So this should be. I don't know if it's a folding corn head though. That's the one thing I don't know about it. I guess I could probably look. I don't think it's a folding corn head. There's usually hydraulic cylinders up here. Looks like Alex is completely full way down at the end. So we got to unload them down here. These are some of the longest passes we have on this farm. Over a mile long rows, which is just insane. Thing is, is if he's full now, he's going to be filling up like crazy with a 12 row corn head. So I got to keep him going like it is going to be a hustle. We got Sally in the combine too. She's rolling. We're rolling with the grain cart. Oh, we'll stop and unload here. I think she's going to be full. She's just finishing up this other end here. We're going to top off in these wagons here. We'll have to just drop the corn head. Hopefully nobody runs over it. Corn head's unattached. Okay, the big mama jamba 12 row gearing off corn head, chopping corn head. We're going to see if this 2588 will handle it. It's surprisingly clean. They said it was used by another a couple other guys a week ago. We're going to see though. Because we got a lot of acres to knock out. Everything's attached. I don't think it's a folding corn head. Oh, she is heavy. Um, 2588. We're a little light in the rear. We got the small axle on the combine too in the rear. This is probably not the best idea, but we're gonna roll with it. We're gonna see how she does. We're gonna have to keep her slower. That's for sure. Because I don't know if we'll be able to handle all this corn coming through the combine. I mean, we're talking 220, 230 bushel corn right here. We'll see. Here we go. I dive into her. It's not bad so far. We're gonna get full super quick. Heck, maybe we could upgrade to a 16 row. I mean, we're pushing at six mile an hour. We're bringing a lot of grain in. It's filling up quick back there. But everything seems to be good. Turned up the fan speed, turned a couple settings up. Open the concave, open the sieves. 
that combine's gonna be close to full by the time we get to the end here. I'm just dumping some in the back wagon. We gotta keep rolling. I gotta catch it though. Otherwise, when Alex turns around, he's not gonna be ready. Come on. This Kinsey unloads pretty quick though. That's what's nice. Okay. We're rolling. We gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta go. Come on. We're going. Come on, 1920. Get up to speed. Come on. It would be nice to have some more ponies on this wagon. Oh, we can do it. We can do it. We can beat them. Oh, we're perfect. We should be good. Hopefully it's not full. Yeah, we're going to be perfect. Coming in hot. And he's empty. He's good to go. Let's roll. Okay, one. the case combine's doing the long rows with the 12 row. We'll keep up with this. We're going to have the 8 row, the 9560, do some of the kind of shorter rows, kind of clean this up. That way it's a little easier. And that way we're wasting time turning around with a shorter, shorter combine. We got the 9520 going with the disc down there. Things are rolling. You know it would be a sweet tractor to get someday? Like a 9420T or 9520T. And replace the four-wheel drive with that. Since we already have all-wheel tractors, we got the 1920 four-wheel drive. Our big beast, it would be super cool to get like a 95, 9420T. But I don't know if anybody's made any in Farm Sim yet. I'm not, I guess I'm not sure. Oh, we gotta turn around quick. Don't knock out any corn. He's only taking six rows because he's got the power lines close and then eventually he'll move, uh, He'll move to the other side here. He's close to full. Come on, come on. Do not fill up, Sally. There we go. It's a little tight around here, but it's working. As long as we're not taking out corn, we should be good. Sally's done. We'll go and load Alex and Deer right across from there. Whew. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Oh, that 2380, that 23 is working so hard here. It's unloading on the go, climbing a hill, running a 12 row corn head, in 230 bushel corn, and it's full, or it's it's empty. I'm about full. Make the turn if we can. Honestly, with that 2388 though, like, that's a good corn head. It's, it's been going good, and 2388 handles it, the, uh, the Gearinghoff corn head on there. Like, we may look at upgrading that next year. I'd, I'd honestly really like to get two 12-row combines. Like, that's perfect. With this auger wagon, we can keep up. If I just have somebody run grain, we could get a semi or something. That'd work good. All those wagons are full. We'll top off the grain truck. Well, guys, this could be the end. We're rolling on corn harvest. It's just it's tough for one guy to get a lot done stuff. We're rolling, though. We could use a little more hands. If anybody wants to join, feel free, because I could use some help here. That would be very nice. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. I gotta check on Rex, make sure he's a good. Gotta run back home. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hey, we'll see you in the next one.